The Rise of Industry After the Civil War, the United States of America began a period of rapid changes and transformations. Americans began a process of migration and settlement in the West, railroads linked remote places with urban markets, and American cities began to grow rapidly as population increased. America was indeed becoming a world-leading industrial power. New technologies and inventions from telephones to electricity greatly improved and changed the lives of millions of Americans, while the economy was growing faster than ever. In this video, we will take a look at the factors that led to economic and industrial development, the inventions and innovations of the period, as well as the role of patents and inventors in the process, giving a special attention to the role of women and African American inventors. Let's start by examining the foundations for economic growth. The United States exhibited special factors that contributed to the accelerated economic growth experienced after the Civil War and until the first decades of the 20th century. These factors included the presence of abundant natural resources, the free enterprise system, the role of government in the economy, the legacy of the first industrial revolution, and the economic stimulus provided by the Civil War. The United States was generously endowed with natural resources, which included fertile land, timber, deposits of phosphates, copper, gold, silver, and many other minerals. Additionally, the United States had a growing population that provided cheap labor, and entrepreneurs who were ready to innovate, organize, and manage those resources to create new industries and opportunities. The United States also had an abundant supply of the three big resources needed for industrialization, oil, coal, and iron ore. Another key for economic success was the free enterprise system or capitalism. In this system, tools, equipment, factories, and capital are privately owned and people are free to buy and sell goods and services on the open market. Competition is an essential part of the system. As producers try to be more efficient and innovate to stay in business, consumers ultimately benefit. In the United States, a competitive work ethic and a culture that emphasized individualism, entrepreneurship, and material success further strengthened these characteristics of the capitalist system. The view of competition was supported by 19th century philosophy of social Darwinism, which mirrored Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, arguing that just like in nature, competition is a feature of society and only those who are able to adapt will be able to survive and thrive in society. Society was viewed as a race for the survival of the fittest. Wealthy people often blamed poverty on the poor themselves, rather than on the circumstances or the injustices in the system. The role of government was also important in this economic process. During this period, the United States followed a laissez-faire approach which means that the government's role in the economy was limited and minimal. The government generally followed hands-off policies and stayed off the economy as much as possible. This approach favored industrialization. The U.S. patent system, which was established in the Constitution, encouraged innovation and new inventions by guaranteeing exclusive rights to inventors over their inventions. In this way, inventors could reap economic benefits of their invention for a reasonable length of time. The U.S. government encouraged economic development by imposing tariffs on foreign goods, supporting local industry. Western expansion was encouraged, and franchises and grants were granted to railroad companies. The legal system protected property and contracts, while Congress regulated banks, currency, and financial markets. 
The legacy of the first industrial revolution was another crucial factor. The first industrial revolution started in the textile industry in England in the 18th century. As a result, factories were first developed and machines running on wind or water power and later steam power greatly increased productivity. Steam would also power boats and trains, improving transportation. The United States followed England's steps, becoming the second nation to develop an industrial sector early on. The second industrial revolution saw structural changes like the introduction of the assembly line and production at a larger scale than before. Machines were no longer running on steam power, but rather on oil derivatives or electricity. Steel became an important building material, and there were significant advances in transportation and telecommunications. The Civil War offered an unprecedented stimulus to the economy. The war economy greatly benefited the northern industrialists, who produced uniforms, weapons, processed food, and equipment for the war effort. Another stimulus came from the legislation. As the South temporarily seceded from the Union, Congress was able to pass legislation substantially favoring the growth of the northern economy. Such legislation included the Moral Tariff, which protected American manufacturing from European competition, the National Bank Acts, which created a national banking system and regulated both banks and currency, the Homestead Act of 1862, which offered free or cheap land to settlers in the West, the Morrill Act, which gave land grants to technical and agricultural colleges, and the Pacific Railway Act, which gave federal loans and grants to railroad companies to complete the Transcontinental Railroad. The Second Industrial Revolution in the United States After the Civil War, the economic and social structure of the United States was transformed forever mass-produced standard items were manufactured for the emerging national market, which was largely urban. The spread of railroads, the revolutions in communications and transportation, the spread of electricity, and the use of oil derivatives as a source of fuel would change the lives of millions of Americans during this period. The railroad network was greatly expanded all over the country and traveling became safer and more comfortable. George Pullman invented the sleeping car, while George Westenhouse invented the air brake, which stopped all cars at the same time. Gustavus Swift invented the first refrigerated car using insulation and ice. Meat and agricultural products were kept fresh longer thus reaching markets across the nation. The second industrial revolution was fueled by inventions and innovations. An invention is the process of developing a new machine, product, or method. Innovation, on the other hand, refers to the adoption or implementation of new ideas or processes, which are often improved or enhanced over time. In Britain, Henry Bessemer invented the Bessemer process in 1855, making the production of steel much more economical. The process was adopted in the United States. Steel became 80% cheaper and Americans were able to produce thousands of miles of railroad tracks, steamships, suspension bridges, and skyscrapers. The use of petroleum oil and its derivatives as fuel was another fundamental change. In the early 19th century, people used the blubber of whales to make oil for lubrication and lighting. In 1859, Edwin Drake drilled the first oil well in Pennsylvania. After some improvement in the refinement process, oil derivatives rapidly replaced whale oil. Kerosene was used for lighting lamps, while gasoline was used to run the new internal combustion engine. Electricity was another sign of economic transformation. Electricity was used to run the new electric motor based on the application of electromagnetism to create motion. 
By the end of the 19th century, electricity powered factories, steel cars, and subway trains. In 1879, Thomas Alva Edison invented the first practical electric light bulb and would go on to patent an improved battery and set up the first electric power station using direct current. Edison had a team of researchers and in his lifetime filed more than a thousand patents, which also included the phonograph or record player and motion pictures. Another important name in this field was Nikola Tesla. Tesla was a Serbian immigrant who came to work for Edison. Two years later, Tesla started his own company, developing a motor that produced an alternating current of electricity that could travel longer distances. Tesla and Edison became intense adversaries, as Tesla's alternating current directly challenged Edison's reliance on direct current. At the end of the 19th century, the internal combustion engine was invented. This engine used controlled explosions of gasoline to move pistons in a cylinder. It was small, yet powerful. Automobile makers, such as Henry Ford, made use of this engine. The internal combustion engine would also power the first airplane, invented by two Ohio brothers who manufactured bicycles, Wilbur and Orville Wright in 1903. Other American inventions included the typewriter, the vacuum cleaner, the cash register, the fountain pen, and an improved sewing machine. Communications were also transformed by new inventions. Samuel Morse developed the telegraph using electromagnetism and a code of long and short spaces. In 1856, the telegraph made long distance communication possible for the first time. Cyrus Field led the first transatlantic cable to carry telegraph messages between America and Europe in 1858. After the first cable failed, he laid a new one seven years later. Alexander Graham Bell patented the telephone in 1875. Telephones made long distance communication possible, using the human voice instead of Morse code. Women and African American inventors. Although women and African Americans were often deprived of opportunities for education or professional development, they too contributed to the process of innovation. Josephine Cochran, a wealthy woman from Ohio, invented the first automatic dishwasher. Elijah, the real McCoy, was born to fugitive slaves who had fled to Canada. After training in Scotland, McCoy returned to the United States and opened a machine shop. McCoy filed patents for engine lubricators that were used in railroad locomotives and steamships. Garrett Morgan developed safety equipment for firefighters, including a gas mask. In 1923, he also patented a traffic signal for automobiles. Madam C.J. Walker became the first African-American millionaire. Madam C.J. Walker started a cosmetic and hair care company to cater to the needs of African-American women. Walker invented a line of shampoos, hair care, and styling products, which almost instantly became a success. Born into slavery, Sarah Good became the first African-American woman to receive a U.S. patent. Good patented the fold-away bed, which was useful for Americans living in small apartments. John Albert Burr patented an improved rotary blade lawnmower. Granville T. Woods patented a series of inventions for trains and streetcars, including a telegraph that could send signals between stations and moving trains. Lewis Howard Latimer was the son of fugitive slaves. He improved carbon filaments used in light bulbs. Jan Erst Metziliger, born in South America, 
he moved to the U.S. at the age of 19. Matt Zilliger invented a machine to attach soles to shoes, making the process more efficient and cutting the cost of shoes in half. In 